Are you on the hunt for a really good alcohol marker that blends well, is affordable, and comes in a wide range of colors? This video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. This video is going to focus on the latest release from Artix Oros Markers. I've reviewed them in the past two different times and I will link to those videos down in the YouTube description box below the video. This latest release of theirs includes pastel colors. So when I first went through the Artix markers, a lot of people wondered if they were going to increase the range of colors because a lot of the first release was brights. This release fills in nicely with some pastels and lighter colors, which work perfectly with the markers already available. If you've seen any of my media videos, you know that my first task when I get new markers or any other type of medium is to swatch them out. So let's do that so you can see all the colors that are available in this new set. This is the new Artix Oro Sketch Marker 24 color pastel tone set. So you can see every color in this set is a pastel or lighter color that blends in well with some of their darker or brighter colors. In this piece of paper, you also get a sketch chart. And then of course, there's this really nice handy holding case for these markers. I think it's really cute, first of all, with the flowers. I love the snap on the side. It's kind of like one of those alcohol marker wallets that holds everything with loops and pockets. So you can see in each section, there are four markers. And so there are six of those sections equaling 24 markers. So I really just like having them all together like this, especially if you don't have a large craft space. This is a great way to hold your alcohol markers. All right, let's take a look at the markers themselves. It's a nice, thick, smooth barrel that's kind of in a triangular shape so that it is comfortable to hold. On one end, you do get that chisel tip and I'll share a way to use that in this video and then on the other end you do get this really nice brush tip and the thing that I love about the Artix brush tips is that they're pretty sturdy so they're kind of easy to use because of how sturdy that brush tip is it doesn't bend over but you still get a nice sweeping effect to the color. So I am going to swatch out the colors. This swatch set that they have included has the numbers from 401 to 426 and has the names of the colors underneath. So I decided to line up my markers in the same order as the swatch is lined up so that I can easily decide which color I want and then grab them. Now let's put this new set to work. I'm going to combine them with my other Artix markers so that you can see how well they work together. To start off though, I am just going to reach for these pastel markers to create a background. I mentioned using the chisel tip. I have an A2 piece of alcohol-friendly cardstock, which is ultra, ultra smooth. And I am just going to brush from side to side with the chisel tip because it's going to cover up the entire panel a lot more quickly than it would if I were using the brush tip. And I love the look of the chisel tip when you create backgrounds this way. It does blend between the colors beautifully and it also creates just kind of this different effect than the brush would because it is that thick tip from side to side. And I'm gonna go over these colors. You can see them blending right before your eyes. They are super smooth. I'm gonna add some of the light purples in there. There's a periwinkle. There's also a wisteria and a cornflower blue, just lots of beautiful colors. And I didn't have to even delve into the brighter colors to create this kind of pretty sea background. Okay, for the other side of the marker. This time I am using the brush side. However, I did use Nina Solar White cardstock here and I, I regretted it a little bit, honestly. Nina is smooth, but not as smooth as an alcohol friendly cardstock is. So you can see I'm getting some white spaces because what's happening is the ink is settling into the cardstock. It's literally seeping right in there and drying fast. 
and that does not result in great blending. I did set that background aside to dry for a little bit and it does dry a little more blended, but I do recommend using that alcohol-friendly cardstock even for backgrounds when you can. I did want to share that there are several shades of each color here. So I'm using three different pale oranges and trying to color in this fish. So the great thing about the pastels is that they have really good base colors. What you want is to lay down the lightest color so that you have something to blend with. If you just start with the darkest color, it's going to be really hard to move that color around. But if you start with a really barely there color and then add some details on top of it, some shading and blending, then you have something underneath that you can move that color around with. So I'm going to do this with each of the sections of this image. This is from a Hero Arts stamp set. It'll be listed down in the description box below the video. So you can see with all of the colors, the pink in her hair, the purple of her mermaid body, I am using only the pastels and light colors. And here I start to bring in a little bit of the darker colors from my former Artix Oros set. And that just adds so much depth and dimension to these images, starting with that really pale pastel color and then moving on. Okay, I'm gonna use the coordinating dies and cut those images out. And then I'm gonna treat that background we created with some anti-static powder tool and then stamp a sentiment and some bubbles with some Versamark ink right on top of that colored background. I'm going to pour white embossing powder on top of the image and the bubbles and then just tap off the excess right back into the jar and then use my heat tool to heat set those embossing powders so that it will really show up vibrantly on top of that beautiful light background. I'm going to use some foam squares to pop up this image. I like foam squares here because you can place them all around the image in different little spots to make sure it stays all popped up. And then I'm going to use some ultra bond liquid glue to adhere some of the tinier images around the mermaid and the fish. And then finally, some Hero Arts pearls as accents. I love these liquid pearls and the white pearl on this background, I think is absolutely perfect to accent and embellish it. So this was such a fun card to color and create the background and the image for. For this next card, I used a waffle flower stamp set called Bouquet Builder number no. seven. And I also wanted to just mention again that these Artix Oros markers blend beautifully, lay down color beautifully. They're easy to use because the brush tip is a little more solid than other markers that I've used. And so it makes it easy for me as a beginner to do blending and shading where I'm adding two different colors on top of each other and then blending out those harsh lines with the brush tip. So if you're in the market for a good alcohol marker that blends really well, that has a good range of colors, especially now with these pastels, I would definitely look at these Artix markers. Okay, so I did die cut out all of the flower images and now I'm working on top of that rainbow background that we created. You can see now that it has blended out a little bit better, but still I would prefer to work on alcohol-friendly cardstock. I popped up the flowers and now I am going to lay down the leaves behind those popped up images. So I love doing that where you just put a foam square in the center of the flower. That gives you lots of room around the outside to build up your bouquet. That's why Waffle Flower calls it Bouquet Builder. So you can add leaves on all different sides, little sprigs of leaves, other flowers underneath or on top. And then I finish this card off with a sentiment from Simon Says Stamp that I love their sentiments where you can just cut them out instead of having to do another round of stamping. And then again, with those little Hero Arts pearls to add some dimension and shine and embellishment. If you want to learn more about Artix markers, check out my other video over here. If you want to check out this new set of Oros markers, I will have all the supplies that I used today listed down in the YouTube description box below the video. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.
I tell you a little secret? The way that I have this shot angled to keep me in here. I'm standing on my tippy toes to film this video. This is the real me. <laughs> this is the tippy toe me. Oh, the things we do. All right, I think that's it. I really think we got it all.